So for this video, we're going to be looking at Bootsu the Assembler. It actually got asked for in one of the comments. And again, if you guys ask me for a specific exotic, I will most likely be doing that exotic. Don't worry, Titans. I know I've been doing a lot of Warlock and Hunter. Specifically, the next one is Knucklehead Radar. But after that one, I'm actually going to be Lorelei Splendor because that helm is really good right now <laughs> you're essentially a god so i do have a lot of looks for that one specifically three or four if i remember correctly but just be aware of the titans i haven't forgotten it's just that uh comments take a, a president over everything else essentially so uh, titans if you guys want to see something specific uh made by me then you guys are gonna have to comment what what it is because i can't read your mind and i much rather people comment what they want because I could literally be doing other things as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help me because a huge portion of people that come to my channel are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like the video. If you guys like the content enough that you think subbing is worth it, then I appreciate it even more. Uh, I will have a few changes coming up in the next few weeks because <clears throat> I do actually have a Patreon that I have not been sharing. I do have a Discord that I have not been sharing. And I want to go get those two up and ready before I do anything else. So, again, I really appreciate y'all that like, comment, and everything. Especially the people that comment specific exotics. That really helps a lot, too. But uh, other than that, uh, before we get into the exotic, let me explain a few things first. So, in the past, there has been exotics where I didn't have the ornament for it. This is going to be no different i don't have the ornament for boots of the assembler which is very unfortunate because i really do like it but be aware that <clears throat> if, it, if they ever do resell that exotic uh for bright dust i will definitely get it and i will most likely just be doing a separate video for the ornament itself because i do i do hate that i don't have that ornament i really thought i got the boots of the assembler ornament but evidently i did not <clears throat> so just be aware that i don't have the ornament if you guys want i could make some fashion tips around the uh, around the ornament because i have seen pictures of it i have actually seen it but again i could just pretty much give you advice at that point because i can i can't actually even look at it through the game it's not even available for me to actually see it because if that was the case i would actually do armor around that which i have done in the past so <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Let's get into the video. So Boots of the Assembler is an interesting exotic because it's kind of boring uh, look wise, obviously. It looks really cool. It shaders really well. Thank God it shaders really well. But the other thing that kind of uh, irritates me is the fact that the boots, for some weird reason, have a box at one of the legs and the other side has does not have that which is really weird other than that these exotics they shader well uh i personally like the echoed anger i think that one looks really good with it abyssinian gold looks very boring with it but to be fair if you're going for a black look i don't i also don't think this is a very good black shader for it because the crotch piece turns brown which i immediately hated it and for seto tribe it also kind of looks a little basic but that's because this is more cloth than anything else and Sato Tribe specifically. Uh, the blues and the whites will only ha be on plate armor. Uh, also, something pretty funny to note is that the uh, the right leg has like this little person with a heart in the middle, which I thought that was pretty funny. But other than that, the exotic itself is fine. It's just, it's going to be hard to revolve around this because it's not that like distinct i guess you would say as for the example set uh the first one is going to be using metro shift as the shader and for the helmet we're going to be using wrath trail hood the street scholar gloves inspector robes and the apilos following bond the reason i'm using most of these is mostly for the rule of cool and because i want to showcase the boots a lot more so i'm going with the inspector robes the street scholar the main reason i'm using that is because on the inspector robes it's very heavy on the left side and the street scholar gloves go well with that because on the left side there's armor on the right side there isn't and then for wrath trail i actually just wanted that one because it looks cool in my opinion it's one of my favorite hoods for the warlocks uh, not much to say about this one because this one is really just showcasing the boots themselves this is the hard part about using exotics that don't have like a specific look or something is the fact that it's very hard to theme it without looking generic, which I do think this looks a little generic. 
I do like the second one only because it uses a chess piece that I'm actually a big fan of. Uh, for the second look, we're using Sato Tribe for the shader. We're using Seventh Seraph for the hood. Uh, for the gloves, we're using the Contender gloves. The Lightkin robes for the chess piece, which is one of my favorite chess pieces in the game. And then for the bond, we're using the home word because personally, I don't want to see any bond on this that's going to be super over dramatic in my opinion. Like I just want to, I honestly just want to have something chill and not noticeable. So that's why home word is the one for me. So let's talk about this one a little bit more because I actually like this one a lot more. First, first and foremost, I think Sato Tribe works well with this because uh, this is pure cloth. You you can definitely go heavy on the cloth because again, there's only like three, four pieces of the boots of the assembly that actually have plate armor. You're look, gonna look at the the crotch plate that has plate armor, obviously. But then you have uh, above the right knee, you have this like metal piece, and then at the top of the calves on each side, you can see two two uh, metal plates as well. Other than that, everything is really plate or cloth and again i wanted to mirror that with the chest piece because the chest piece is more cloth than anything else and again contender gloves is really good if you don't want to have any plate armor and the reason i'm using the seventh seraph is because warlocks unfortunately don't have a helmet that's just pure cloth uh there are a few pieces that i can think of off the top of my head that would be okay uh, specifically the contender cover that the actual helmet is more cloth than plate the plate is actually on the back but the reason i'm using the seventh seraph hood is because uh the visor is all black uh and the actual plate armor it's more in the back than in the front so that's really why i just decided to use that but that's pretty much it uh, i only ended up doing two looks for this because that's all I could really do. Obviously, there's other chess pieces that you could do. Specifically, if you look in the screen right now, this is how uh, my Warlock looks currently. But there's other chess pieces that you can do for sure. You can do the Break Tech Researcher's Robes. This one's really good. My only issue with it is that it doesn't really match the look of the Boots of the Assembler, in my opinion, which is why I didn't use it. But you're going to want something that's going to showcase the boots a lot because that's what you're using. Uh, you're going to want to stay away from like Hyro Camel because it covers literally the whole boot. Uh, you could probably use Blood Lineage. That's pretty cool because I do like that the, these plate things right here are still noticeable with the crotch plate. But this is, this is kind of the problem with exotic boots for Warlocks is the fact that a lot of your stuff, are, it's just, it's just going to cover your boots. And... I think that's unfortunate because uh, this is also a really good one. So it's really unfortunate because some boots look really cool. Like boots of the assembler, I actually do think look really cool. Uh, like I said, I don't, you can't even look at the ornament. If I was able to look at the ornament, I would actually definitely make a look for it. But I don't, and they don't even have it available. If they do have it available, uh, like in the, in the next seasons, I'll actually do a video on all of the exotics that I have not been able to do. I have specifically the fishnets for the hunters. I don't, I know I def definitely need to do a video on that because I actually do like the ornaments for the uh, star eater scales. And at this point I might actually either do separate videos, which will be super fast videos or we'll see, or one big fat video, but I don't like the idea of that unless it's multiple of that, of that one class, then maybe I'll do that. But again, I do apologize. This video is pretty short. It's just that I this only has one specific look. And the other thing is just that Warlocks have a lot of pieces that covers a lot of the boots, unfortunately. Like, I'm looking at all of these. This one can work really nicely. The only other problem is that you have this big plate, dick plate here that may or may not be an issue for people. I, I definitely don't think it's going to be an issue for me. But like even something like this, I don't think is terrible. But you do lose a lot of the uniqueness that is the exotic because it's covering a lot. So Warlocks, just be aware that like you can do something like this because this does showcase a lot of the exotic. 
and I actually do think this is pretty cool. Another one is the Nemean robes. It does cover one side, but the one side is completely bare, and you'll see it, which is pretty cool. Just be aware that the Nemean robes tend to tend to be more into the ornamental look, and the boots of the assembler are not that at all, in my opinion. Uh, you can do interlace robes, which actually would be an interesting take, because I can see people doing a electrical robotic look with the uh, boots of the assembler especially since this plate looks really good with it you could probably do something along the lines of uh, uh let's see <clears throat> do something because you could if you want to just like not think about it you could do this something like this with this helmet over here this one and then for this one you could probably just do this i know i did this look for a previous video but it works really well with the boots of the assembler in my opinion and i just think the arms and the chest piece are just perfect for each other which is duh because they're part of the same set but i mean it in the sense of i think this looks really good as a whole set like i know some people would kind of argue like oh well you're just you're using the same arms and it's like i get that but the alternative is doing something like this or where is it this one specifically which i don't think this one would be terrible either it's just i don't think the fur and the electrical look go well together but again i wanted to at least have this portion of the video explaining the thought process and explaining what you should and shouldn't be doing because it's not a lot it was not a lot for this one like this also looks pretty cool in my opinion i probably would change the shader though uh I'm just a I'm just such a whore for the shader dog. Like it's such a good shader in my opinion. But yeah, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, it's links are in the description below. Again, if you guys are interested in, in asking for a specific exotic, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely get started on that video. Considering when someone asked for this exotic, I was already thinking about ideas. Uh same thing for the knucklehead radar. I was already well, thankfully, I already had sets available for that, so that one took even faster. Uh, for the Lorelei Splendor, I'm literally only doing that one because A, it's one of the most used exotics for the Titans right now, and Titans don't, I haven't done an exotic for Titans in a while, and I don't want to, I don't want it to seem like I, I don't like them because, uh, truth be told, Titans are just stupidly fun right now. It's ridiculous. I was just running GMs with some friends, and my titan was just going around bonking people because i had no fear of death so again i do apologize to the commenter if this video was not sufficient it's just that these exotics just without the ornament again it's gonna look very plain i actually do like this though let me know what you guys think but be safe and i'll see you guys later